Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to build clutter or decor items for The Sims 4. My name's Katie, or Simma Kate. First of all, I want to say a big big thank you to everyone who still supports my content and still downloads my custom content. Even my oldest creations, they still get downloaded and I'm mind blown like poof. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I do look on the download tonight again, and I still see you downloading, so I appreciate that very much, so thanks for that. I used to post tutorials on how to do stuff in Blender for The Sims 4 on this channel, but I haven't uploaded or created anything in over a year as I took a break. But I'm back, I've got my creativeness back, and I want to share that with you, and maybe help a few of you out that is struggling to create, like I was when I first started. I create build objects, like I said previously, so like decor and clutter. I hope this tutorial helps you out on your Sims 4 creative journey. If you need any help with anything, just send me an ask or a message on Tumblr and I'll help you out as much as I can. Uh, this tutorial is for people who have basic knowledge of Blender. So if you haven't got basic knowledge of Blender, I suggest you download Blender and uh, I don't know, maybe play around, get used to it know the keys the hot keys you know what everything does and and then come back to this video but yeah i hope it helps you out and let's get started so today we're going to keep it quite simple and we're gonna create these lip kits that are on the screen right now in a few episodes later we're going to create the liquid lip and the lip liner but today we're going to create the packaging box because it's pretty simple and it's easy to do <laughs> We're going to go to create 3D mesh and then object. So we have to choose a Sims 4 base object to merge our mesh that we make in Blender with. Otherwise it won't be in the game and it'll be all wrong. I was pretty much rambling when I made this uh, video so I re-recorded this pit. Um, but I like to go with the, the fruit bowl because it can go on surfaces and stuff like that yes i'm clicking the fruit bowl <laughs> if you were to choose like a painting or something like that then you couldn't put it on a table um it would have to be on a wall so we have to go with the objects that are placeable on surfaces press next and then i'm just going to save it as a package so now that is open we are gonna um export the mesh Save it as a blend file, so it should say save as type blender.blend. So save it as, um, I don't know, like something like default mesh. And then once it's saved, we can go over and open Blender. And we're going to create the packaging box for the lip kits. It's not very um, complicated at all, you just scale in. So we get it to what it should look like. Maybe scale it down a little bit as well because they're not so big. You can have them standing up if you want or you can have them laying down. I'm going to have them lying down. And we want it just on top of the axis. Yes, there we go. So put in the, oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, damn it. Right. Nope, still a bit bent. There we go. So having it just sit on top of the axis makes it, when you put in the game, it allows it to just sit on top of the table. Because if you put it downwards, then it will sit under the table or through the table. And if you put it too high, it'll hover over the table. So you have to have it just on top of the axis here and that should be fine then because that is just simple it's just a box so we don't have to do anything else for that and i'm gonna go to object mode and then append the default mesh, mesh that we saved earlier go to object and then take the studio mesh one which is the fruit bowl 
And then Studio Mesh Zero is the shadows, so you need both of them. So you'll pen them from the library. There you go. So <laughs> our, our makeup box is a lot bigger than what it's supposed to be. So that that's fine though, because we can go back and we can scale it down. Let me go out of that view. Oh. Let me go out of that view. There we go. There. That should be okay, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So now we are gonna merge them together. So we usually take our mesh, which is our packaging box, and then we hold shift and we go down to Studio Mesh 1, click here and Control J to merge them. Go back into edit mode, delete all here. You can you can go like that and highlight it all and then and highlight that one and then delete. Go here and press delete there. And then start. Okay, so don't press um reset, press project from view instead. <laughs> and um yeah, so we can start like that. And then I like to click this. So you have different options. I don't know what it's called, but yes. <laughs> so we can go for a, a top view. I haven't got the, the extra keys on my keyboard because I have a small keyboard. So I can't, I'm just gonna have to line it up. You can press the numbers and figure out the views anyway and it comes out better. So I'm just gonna get the top view here and then get that oh no I should get the other one as well if you don't get it perfect you can always rotate it in the in the UVs there and just make it the same kind of I know that one is a bit crooked but it shouldn't matter to be fair I just highlight both of them and then there one is bigger than the other or oh, not in line yeah not in line <laughs> so i'm just gonna line them up so here is the um these two are the top view the front view and then these ones are the side views so i'm just gonna put these here but they're gonna be smaller and i might make them a little bit thicker there Yeah, there we go. And I'll put them both here. Then we need to go to the side views. It's a lot easier when you have the other keys. You can just hotkey them. Press the numbers and they'll just go in straight into view for you. There you go. Um, yeah, the UVs are here, so then we have to export the UVs. Make sure it's all selected. So export UVs. I'm gonna put it as packaging. Oh, packaging UV dot PNG. So now we go back over to Sims 4 Studio and we import the mesh in the LOD O 
LOD1 and LOD2, I think. Yep, so high, medium and low. And then I'll show you how to do the shadow LODs straight after this. LOD means level of detail, by the way. So, as you can see, our UVs ain't on there because we haven't done them yet. You can put them here, but it's just going to look like that because we haven't put anything on them. So, now you open up Photoshop or GIMP or whatever editing software that you have and import the UV PNG into Photoshop. So I find a photo and I'm gonna just cut the front of it out by using the quick selection tool because it's my favourite tool because <laughs> I'm lazy. So then we're gonna cut it out. Maybe just you can either you can hide the layer. You you don't really need to delete it, but I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> um, and then we go in like this. You can clean it up a little bit more as well if you want. Oh, I for I forgot. Wait there. So. And we're just going to fit it over so you don't see any lines. But we're going to hide the um, this anyway after we've done it. So make sure it's over a little bit and it's not in because, yeah, you'll, you'll have borders on the package, on the mesh otherwise. That should be okay. And then I think it was like... Um, it was the same colour, on the sides, I might just pick it up a little bit because it looks a bit dull, that looks a lot better. So then we're going to take the red, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm gonna just draw I'm went a bit too far but we can just draw over it and then paint it in same with the other ones it's probably the lazy way of doing stuff Um, you can put writing on the top. I think she might have like Kylie on the top. So we can find the logo on Google. Like that. I'm not too sure if she do have Kylie on the top, but we'll just put it there for now. Export quick export as PNG, save it as packaging UA uh, UAVs. Oh my god, I've been playing Call of Duty too much. <laughs> packaging UV.pngs. Then we're gonna go back to um, Sims 4 Studio and we import the UVs that we just did on the editing software. Here we are, packaging UVs. But yeah, you should end up with something like this. Then you go over to LOD1, oh wrong one, damn, <laughs> uh, import your packaging mesh, LOD2, packaging mesh, um, and so if you've imported your mesh up to LOD2, then go to the video 
watch the video that's linked next and it will show you how to do shadow LODs um, and then save the game and yeah just your blanks and everything that you need to do to get it into game and working properly so I hope this uh, this video helped you a lot it took me a long time to video this and things went wrong as well so I had to sort them out but um yeah hopefully this helps and I can't wait to see all your creations tag me in them actually yeah tag me on tumblr sim simicate.tumblr.com uh tag me on them I want to see them <laughs> uh bye <laughs>